Somewhere in the back of my mind, I thought, he's gonna stop. There's no way he's gonna hit me, but he did. Police continue to investigate a hit and run that nearly killed a bicyclist. Witnesses say a man was driving erratically the moments before he struck a woman near Centennial Park. I was leaving work on October 7th, just a normal, beautiful afternoon around 4.30. So I approached the intersection and the stop sign and I stopped and waited a couple seconds and then eased on out into the intersection. There was an SUV approaching me from the left. I just thought he's going too fast. He's never going to be able to stop. I knew that I was going to run up to a dead body. That was my first thought. My name's Amy Billings, and I was the first responder on scene. I need some help. I need an ambulance. I'm at Poston and 28. She was leaned back against a vehicle that was parked, and she did have her helmet on. I don't remember the impact, fortunately. The first thing that I remember is the EMTs lifting the stretcher up and putting me in the back of the ambulance. I asked one of the EMTs to hold my hand. She's recovering from several broken bones, a bruised lung, and an open fracture. It was at least two months later where I was completely free of all equipment and could walk on my own. I've not been on a bicycle yet, not even on a trainer stationary in a room. I do hope that I will be able to get back on a bike. Fortunately, a therapist in town reached out to me who has experienced something similar. He's been hit um, on a bicycle as well. My name is Andy Garner. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and I specialize in trauma treatment. I work with athletes. I was hit by a car myself about four or five years ago. I was in a bike lane when I was hit. There's no question in my mind the helmet saved my life. Come on in, are you ready? Yeah. He offered to walk me through some of the PTSD that he knew I would experience. I've worked with a number of cyclists who've had uh, crashes and races and that sort of thing, and my first thought was, if she doesn't get some help, she'll never get back on a bike. Yeah, my heart is racing a little faster. Okay. Feel okay? Yeah. All right, good job. Thankfully, I had a helmet on. I do not know that I would be here if I did not because it took a huge impact. All of this hard, hard foam is just busted and the front is cracked all the way on the inside. That helmet absolutely saved her from having a head trauma. I would never consider riding out of my driveway without my helmet on. I would ask for all cyclists everywhere always to wear a helmet. There is no trip too short to be safe. If I had not had this helmet on, I don't think that I would be here today. Wear your helmet, it could save your life.